guys, this is our friend Mike. He's gonna show us his bike trailer. And what you got there, Mike? Uh, so basically it's a little camper I made under 60 bucks. Damn. And uh, it's Super all made out of coral plast. Got some beer here for the festival that I'm, I'm doing. Bike selling for. Why, why would you advertise that? Let's look inside of here. We got a sleeping bag and it looks pretty darn cozy. Got the uh, wood floor here if you want to check it out. I'm going to be staining it cherry red. Nice, nice. The next step is to be putting insulation in and sealing it completely. Very cool. And how'd you put this put together? What's this black stuff? Uh, this is called Coroplast. The white stuff is called Coroplast. It's basically reused um, campaign signs if you think about it. Okay. All the Hillary Trump crap that's around your yards. And um, <laughs> this is uh, 3M duct tape. It's the strongest duct tape that they sell right now on the market. It's actually stronger than Gorilla Glue duct tape. So Damn. You can just feel how strong it is. This stuff is yeah. really robust. It, uh, it, when I was putting it on, actually, I, I felt the difference between the, ta the tape that I was using before. Yeah. This tape. Uh, it's a lot stronger and uh, it's considerably stickier. Like, mm -hmm. really sticky. Because um, a couple times I messed up getting the lines right, and, um, <laughs> and when I was trying to peel it off, it didn't want to come off at all. So I see. If you uh, if you do decide to build something like this, I strongly suggest on sanding um, and prepping an area that you want to duct tape so that it adheres a little bit safer, though, and like, mm -hmm. a little bit more stronger. I see. Yeah. How hard is it to, for you to pull this behind your bike? Uh, well, I have it up to uh, around. 60, 65 pounds that I'm pulling so far now. Okay. Which is considerably lighter than a kid trailer and two kids, if you think mm -hmm. about it. But um, if you factor That's in- That's true, that is so true. Yeah, but if you factor in your sleeping bag, fold out chair, a couple gallons of water, some grub, and you know, your camping stove, be it a BioLite or propane based or fuel based. I would strong, strongly suggest getting a uh, wood burning stove for any action with this. Yeah. Because you want something that you want to just pull up to, not have to carry any fuel, and just uh, pull up to and uh, grab some toys off the ground, start pulling some water mm -hmm. and getting your dinner started. Mm -hmm. Does it flex much when um, you lay in it? I mean, Is no. it really solid on the I mean, if you want foundation? Me, I, can, I, I can show you right now. Okay. Out of here. <laughs> and I like to take off my shoes so it doesn't get too dirty in there. That's right. Oh, this is so cool. But you can get into it pretty simply, and um, I have a small light, LED light up here. It's rechargeable. There we go. I'll flip it upside down. It's, and a, cut it's it in. a really simple bike or a, like work light or whatever, but. It's um, it's extremely simple. I uh, bought aluminum square tubing for the frame itself. Yeah. And uh, angle, angle, um, zinc plated uh, angles. Yeah. And I just screwed them all together. My That's buddy, killer. Um, basically tack tack welded them together too. Mhm. Mm so on the inside they're all tack welded together. On the outside they are bolted. Very cool. Very cool. And you said that you want to put a um, solar panel on the roof? The next step is to get a solar panel going onto it. Because mm -hmm. I'd like to I'd like, I'd like to get this to um, local events and festivals as a mobile charging station. Right. So not only... Right now with the, the, ba the basic purpose of this trailer, I bought it and the materials and built it for the purpose of being a mobile billboard. I see. For local events and festivals. And you're so, talking about the LED lights and how it pushes light through because it's white? It's extremely... <laughs> this stuff is really cool because it, as thin as it is, it's extremely versatile. And you can cut it and shape it and bend it and zip tie it together as much as you want. That's for sure. And it's amazing stuff. It holds insulating properties. So mm -hmm. you don't even have to have it sealed as much as I have here. Mm -hmm. But you can literally just have it open and it's it's pretty much warm but um the reason why i used this material is because of the versatile properties you can bend and it it's insulate shape it, there, it. i mean there's air oh yeah no, it's, it. so it, 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 it quite a good deal it literally like starts oh, filling up with well, i'm warm now 
Like, what kind of battery bank system do you want to have with the solar panels? Like a lithium polymer smaller yeah, system? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. That'd yeah. be super lightweight too. Oh, and, oh, high capacity. Actually, uh, underneath here, mm -hmm. there's good storage space that I can start filling up with uh, tubs so I can have like little compartments so I can lift up a little door. Yeah. And just have that would be super cool. Heck yeah. Yeah. God, that, that is so and, killer. Uh, in turn, I can have space for the. Uh, the battery bank. Mm -hmm. And you said you already tried hosing this off, right? So it's pretty waterproof. Oh no, yeah. There's no water leaks in. Oh, that's so yeah, cool. Not, not even, not even a single drop. And it's uh, what's really cool about it is that it's not even um, sealed on the inside yet. Yeah, yeah. There's so no it's, tape it's on the. Completely rough. This is a uh, rough design. Yeah. And uh, completely not even totally close to being done yet. That's so cool. I can't wait yeah. to see the next steps of yeah. it. We'll see what happens. Where'd you get the wheels and the um, stuff on the bottom? A kid trailer. Oh, a kid trailer? Yeah, they cut it in half. Very cool. Let's just take so a. Funny to see. Yeah. Bad sex, not sleeping bag. Yeah, I, I cut the. Uh, <laughs> I cut the kid trailer in half. Yeah. And uh, I made the frame to fit the actual the trailer, so it adds adds structural. Uh, I have some structure to it too. I see. Not only did I do that. That's killer. I yeah, it works out pretty good. <laughs> and like I said, it was only um, probably around 60 bucks to make. God damn. So look at that, guys. If you want to have a little live in bicycle trailer, 60 bucks and some couple weekends, you're set. Four hours of work. That's awesome. So Mike just showed me this awesome $60 cell phone on Amazon. I'm gonna be putting this on the website tonight. And also this is his little bird. How adorable. He's in the camper too. It bites me though, but it's a cute little guy. He goes in the camper too. Show me what is it? What you got there? No, it's my camping kit, but I try to like with the, what I'm doing I try to keep as, as minimal as I can. And being as minimal as minimal as I can, I don't want to carry fuel. Right. So I have a BioLite stove, which basically charges my device also, mm -hmm. and it runs off of off of wood instead mm -hmm. of fuel. So I have that, and I also have my solar charging stereo pack. <clears throat> I see. Very so cool. Not only can I sterilize water via <clears throat> boiling it, but I can mm -hmm. also sterilize it, you know, via stereo pack. Mm -hmm. You know what you could do? So you could put 200 watts of solar power on there and then have an MPPT charge controller for 20 amps. Oh, and then yeah. a lithium polymer ba battery with a good charge circuit for the lithium polymer battery. But then you can put seat heaters inside of your actual... Seat yeah, and it will make the, the like sleeping bag yeah. super hot. But um, carbon fiber seat heaters for like cars. And I'll, I could yeah, send you see, a link on it. You can't do that because... It's um, only like 35 watts. And if you have... It already gets so hot in there. Oh, really? Fan in there. But during the winter, if you want to like really pull some crazy night doing winter honestly that would I be have, killer I have insulation that I want to put in there yeah if I put insulation in there it won't glow the way that I want it to right right the whole thing literally glows at night it looks like a giant glow worm mm -hmm. it is fantastic not only for when you're riding around at night yeah but also when you're trying to find your way back to camp yeah yeah because if you're, if you're dude it looks kind of futuristic too super cool it's pretty rad I mean, it's, it, it's, it's, it is what it is. It's not done yet. As soon as it gets done, it'll look a lot better. We'll have to do another interview when it's all done. Whoa. So Mike just took a little stumble. <laughs> Shit. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you liked it. If you have a comment or question, please leave it below and I can ask Mike. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you later. Bye. It's William Prowse here. I just went to the gym and I saw my friend and he has this super cool bike. So we're gonna bike over there and I'm... All right, so my buddy Mike, he's gonna be at the fairgrounds and he does the bike valet thing. So we're gonna bike on up this little hill and see what he's doing. Okay, we're almost there. This is the event that he's working. Almost there. Almost there. Hey, puppy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. There he is, he's finally back.